If you've been on the show, you know the drill. You, you, you got it. You got to get it going. First and foremost, we've got, uh, we're going to be giving away a 250 gig NVMe SSD if we hit two uh, level five hype trains here on the show, which we, we have uh, pretty much most of the time. I don't think it's actually happened there. Make a dark, I do need to make a Dark Souls. Actually, you know what, Jez? I think I'm going to start playing Dark Souls. I think I'm going to start playing Dark Souls. I downloaded it, so, Jez, I got to show you this device. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Check it out. It's a One X player. It is blah, it is, it is magical. So I've been playing so many PC games on this One X player. It's like a, it's like a Steam, a Stream Deck. Uh, sorry, Steam Deck, but it's, uh, it's a full-blown Windows using an APU, all this sort of stuff, but uh, it's, uh, I'm pretty bad. Point is, if I get two level five hype trains, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Second one, if we get 500 likes on the YouTube stream, uh, we'll also give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. And then finally, uh, down there in the corner, you see where it says two of 50. If we get 50 subs, it comes a $50 new A gift card, 100 subs, $100 new A gift card, 150 subs, $150 new A gift card, and so on and so forth. So it just starts to grow. The more that you sub, the bigger the giveaways. And we got super close uh, just yet. Was it, was it, yeah, when's the third? What day? Thursday. On Thursday, we almost gave away. Uh, we always almost gave away a CPU. We were like crazy close to giving away a CPU. So, like, uh, would love to make that happen uh, if we can today. Um, lastly, uh, we have a 3070 Ti we're giving away for the month of January. If you want to get in on that, if you're over at Twitch.tv/newegg or YouTube.com/robytech, pop on over to Twitch.tv/robytech. Drop your free Prime sub. If you drop a free Prime sub, you're automatically entered. If you've gotten a gifted sub from the number of numerous people like Red Dragon Zombie and uh, so many others, uh, Juggalo Jimmy and Bean Zagged, who have given so many gifted subs, if you've got one, drop your Prime sub. That doubles your chances. In fact, the guy in July who won a 3080 Ti only entered with a single Prime sub and ended up winning a 3080 Ti. So uh, if you want to get extra entries, you can do things like gift subs, like our guys who are at the top of the leaderboard right now. You can gift subs. That gets you one extra entry per gifted sub. You can also subscribe at tier two and tier three. Tier two gets you five extra entries. Tier three gets you 10. And that is the news for today. That's that's what's happening. So thank you very much, Wolf Fighter. But let's uh, let's kick it off the way I always like to. Let's get the hype train out of the way so then we can go to the parts. We can start building. I don't know how long this build's going to take. Now, I will say, here's my thing. Who enjoyed Thursday's build? I got to say, and you know, honestly, that build is already at like 25,000 views past the stream, or maybe it's like 15. But anyway, the point is, that build last week with all those Noctua fans, pretty dang cool if you guys got to tune in on that thing. Uh, it hasn't had a chance to, uh, it hasn't had a chance to go in on its uh, review testing yet. We're in the middle of testing some stuff, right? You know, like, obviously, you probably get a good idea of what we're getting ready for, given the, the dates that are coming up there. But so that's kind of taken up all of our test bench stuff right now. But man, I am really excited to uh, to make that thing happen. Jeremy Jones, thank you for the prime sub. Red Man OPG, thank you for the prime sub. Guys, just a couple more, and we'll unlock that, uh, we'll unlock that hype train and get that so going. Uh, yeah, those not, yeah. <laughs> More than you know, Nano Flowers. It's a play on words. Nano Flowers is a poet and just didn't know it. So with his, his thing. It's not chicken resubscribing 10 month anniversary. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rune of Tees, Ruby just put, yes, I did. I did post a whole video on NFTs. It came out today. It's, uh, it's about why NFTs really probably won't work in video games. So, and there it is. Hype Train has started. Canadian John Gaming coming in clutch right there. One month with tier one. Welcome to the family, my friend. Let's get this done. Uh, 7000D Airflow 12900K 420 millimeter AIO build. Uh, so we have some cool org, org, I know you know, we have some really cool Corsair stuff coming up in early February that you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna tune into. Not a 7000D though, we do have some 7, I do have a 7000D build coming. I just don't remember what's in it. Hey, Juggalo Jimmy kicking it off with the thousand bits. What do we got guys? Okay, we're officially in hype train level two. Let's go and let's get it done. Quintus, what's going on buddy? You down with OPG? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPG? I love that bit, love. Let's get it out, level five. Here we go, Canadian John, 10 gifted subs. I love Canada, and I love Canadian John, and what he does for this community. He's given a lot there. Thank you very much, Dwar. Look at all those follows. Guys, 400 and f we, did you know? I don't know if you guys knew this, a, a couple weeks ago, we crossed the half a million view mark on Twitch. Crazy. Chlore Slug, uh, resubscribing with Prime. Oh, the other thing too is, I don't know if you guys knew this, we had, I think it was, I think we hit 15 million views on YouTube uh, just last year, 15 million views. 
That was pretty good too. So yeah, you guys have been you guys have been amazing. Super awesome community. Love how engaged you guys are. Um, in fact, uh, I'm starting to get recognized more and more. It's actually kind of scary. Yeah, well, half a million on Twitch though. That's that's a that's a nice one. We've never been featured on Twitch. None of that crazy stuff. So that's just half a million. Just you guys hanging out. Never been on the front page or anything like that, which is cool. Uh, we got Darth Alice dropping one month at tier one. We got Dwarren Jenkins. Dr. Warren Jenkins, not Dwarren. Dr. Warren Jenkins, subscribe with Prime. M. Vanderbreak. M. Vanderbreak, also Prime, and Chlor Slug. Uh, happy six month anniversary, my friend. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm drinking cool, uh, Corsair. So I'm drinking Corsair water. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am summoning three mountains this year. Uh, and so uh, I've cut, I'd like, I don't know if, you, if you're following me on Strava or you're following me on Peloton or Orange Theory, uh, I just went to essentially seven, I work out every single day. So I haven't done it today after this, I'm gonna go get on the Peloton, hit my tread. I also have some lifting on the tonal today, but uh, essentially I've cut out, I, I'm allow, I allow myself to have a Diet Coke a day, maybe two, but for the most part, I pretty much just drink water and iced tea. Uh, so as much as I love ice, they've had their chance, they didn't come through. So we're back down to water out of my Corsair water bottle and uh, gotta get healthy. So I think you guys are gonna see a leaner and meaner Roby Tech uh, over, the, uh, over the course of uh, the, next, uh, the next, I think, few months. Because the first, I think we're summoning Adams, Mount Adams, which is 11,000, 11 or 12,000 feet. That's gonna be in June. Uh, Rainier's in July, and then we're gonna do Hood or Baker is the one that those will happen in August, so yeah. Yeah, just drinking water, just water today. I don't know why it stopped, my thing was like getting weird there. Let's go to Lemon Pea Bread. Lemon Pea Bread, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Tiki Powers, uh, happy four month anniversary, my friend. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, we are at near the end, level five. Let's see if we can get it happen. Please tell us we have RGB stuff. Of course there's RGB stuff in this, come on. Come on, there's gonna be RGB. We gotta have it. It'll be white, because it's a white and purple build. But yes, there is some RGB in there. You know what's funny? I should probably, oh yeah, there's RGB in the fans for sure. So, oh, Red Dragon dropping a thousand bits. He's gotta be getting up there with the, uh, what the, no, it's not like tap water. This is, uh, this is filtered water. I'm bougie. I'm wearing purple. I'm wearing purple. Uh, we're not, but we're not building, we're no, oh, Red, oh, there he is. Red Dragon dropping 500 bits. Hey, Red, where are you at in the, uh, in the bit? like the bit RAM sticker, you 50K yet or, I don't know. I, I know that, I think Juggalo, I think uh, Jimmy's at the top there, he's got 50K, okay. That's the top one, isn't it? I think it is. So there it is. What kind of table are you building on? I thought I'd see it, it is height adjustable. Uh, you get it, we got it from Costco. Um, so that's that's where I got it, Juggalo's also got it. So yeah, there's a couple of people who got the 50K. Um, yeah, so I got this from Costco. I did not purchase it. Actually, uh, my team bought it for us. And so uh, I have no idea. They have shown up from time to time. I think they were around 400 bucks. Yeah, we got some big 50K people. Come on, guys. Three minutes left. Let's finish this out so we can get into parts. Canadian John dropping 1,000 bits. He's just, he's, he's, he's all about uh, being part of the fun. Mount Rainier is fun climb. Unless you have typhoon, uh, like, uh, unless you have hurricane level winds, uh, uh, Darth Hallis. I was, uh, we, we, we tried to summit two years ago. I had done Adams and then we got to uh, Muir and then they had hurricane force winds at the top. So hopefully this year, uh, better off. In Poland filtered into are the same thing. Oh yeah, in Poland, okay. Nice, I've been looking for one actually. Oh, Juggalo dropping five gifted subs. There it is. We're on our way. I love the G, yeah, the GP I'm pretty psyched about. It. It's that Vision 3060, so yeah. Uh, yes, this, the, hey, the Cooler Master case is the same as the NR200P. It's not the same as the NR200P Max because it doesn't have the integrated, which I love my, like I have my little NR200P Max down here. It's one of my favorite builds. Love that thing, so. Um, okay, uh, let's see what else we got here. I'll try to sub next month. You're an amazing person and streamer. Princess Trunks, no pressure. I appreciate that you want to. That means a lot to me. So nobody should feel pressured to. Uh, we, we Kid, one, two, three, four. Thank you for the Prime sub and welcome to the family. Maybe you'll get lucky and get a gift of one. You never know. Uh, Juggalo dropping the, oh, there it is. Princess Trucks, congratulations. You're subbed anyway. So there you go. Um, okay, well, let's get this started. Who's ready to start talking about parts? Let's get her, hey, raise hands. I'm guessing, is this super slow? It's not super slow. It's just normal slow mode. 
Um, yeah, but we just like, I want to be able to, cause I, so just for you don't know, you might be saying, Hey, there's only 194 people. There's actually 400 plus people in the chat already, but I have Twitch, YouTube and Facebook all in the same chat. So the reason we have them on slow is because that way I can follow along. Cause I read all three chats at the same time. So that's, that's why it's uh, that's why it's as slow as it is. You guys crushed though. We still have a minute left. Could we get, could we just, just thinking no pressure, but could we get the last 20? Because then we'll be at 50, and then we're on our way to $100. That's the thing. Could anybody want to drop a 20, a 20 drop, and then we'll uh, we'll be on their way. We got a minute left to see if we can maybe do it. But if not, it's cool. I'm totally fine with it either way. But I always like to set goals. It just feels like a natural part of streaming. You know what I mean? It's like, oh well, then we're almost at 50, and then we're almost at 100. You know what I mean? So going for there, Canadian John, 25. Whoa, snap! He's just like, yep, bam. Canadian John says, yep, yeah, I, I take your challenge, I take your challenge, and I smush it. I just, I just, you know what? I just, I just want it in there. So there it is. Canadian John, everybody's goat right there, along with Red Dragon, Juggalo. They, you guys are all critical and awesome, and so I appreciate it. He said, hold my beer, I got this. He says, Canada what? He said, that's all he's saying. Okay, let me update the giveaway thing, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next tier here. Uh, claw, two widgets. So we're at 55 subs already, and there's the hype train right there ending. Okay, so we're on our way to a hundred dollar new gift card now. We are at 100. We are at. We need 100. We're at 55, and we have. Well, we say we do, but it's really till the end of the show. Okay, there we go. Next goal is up on our way towards a hundred dollar new gift card now. Thank you very much, Canadian, for that. Let's talk about parts we're putting inside of this bad boy. It's all small. It's cutesy. It's fun. It's beautiful. That's the build we have today. In fact, most of the parts can fit right here in the front because it's mini ITX. So we're starting off with the ASRock B550 Phantom uh, Gaming ITX. It's got a little bit of white in it, so it's got it's it's not. I wish there was a nicer like all white micro ATX AMD build. But I like this, I like, I've used this motherboard in a lot of our AMD, like many ITX builds, and so I'm pretty excited. The real Salted Peanut Man, thank you very much for that. So uh, this is, we're gonna be pairing that with the Ryzen 5 5600X. Now this, when you think about this machine, this is like a great, I, it's just a small form factor 1080p. Um, you could, if you wanted to uh, upgrade to like a 30, we're gonna put an 850 watt in here, so you could put like a 3060 Ti or a 3070 in there and still be perfectly fine. I mean, this is such a great uh, piece. I, I wonder what other, hold on, let me see what other, let me see what other uh, white GPUs. I have a 3080 white. I don't want to put that in, that's a Strix. I was thinking, I don't I have another gigabyte? Oh, that's a 3080 Ti, Never mind. That's too, I, like I wouldn't put that with an 850 watt PSU though. Yeah, I have a 3080 and a 3080 Ti in white. I need a 3070 Ti in white. Tom, why have you not bought me a 3070 Ti in white, Tom? This is what I want to know. Okay, so that's why I chose a 3060. Um, or is it a 3060 Ti? No, it's a 3060. Tom, you're failing me. Um, and then, uh, okay, so uh, we got uh, for RAM, just keeping with the white thing, we got uh, eight gig, 16 gigs at 3600 megahertz. And then, um, and then also we've got a one terabyte uh, NVMe SSD um, for the, uh, for the uh, storage there. <coughs> um, let me see what I was, what was I gonna say? Uh, somebody said, no it didn't Tom, that's a lie. Uh, we need to remind Twitch chat. Yes, that's the other two is Twitch. Don't forget also pop on over to youtube.com slash robitech. Hit that thumb up button on the, uh, on the like thing so we can uh, basically uh, do that as well. So we can go hit that thumb up button. That'd be absolutely great. I did pay the bill. It's not due till February 10th. So leave it alone. So yeah, let's get it. FIFA phobia, that's funny. B5. Uh, hey, what's up? How are you doing, man? Okay, so there we go. Uh, so those are that's our core components. Cooling this bad boy. And super shout, big shout out, by the way, to uh, Corsair. I mean, sorry, Cooler Master. Ooh, that's a big mix. Uh, big shout out to Cooler Master. Sorry, they they they, they both. Uh, I don't really. I got no excuse. Uh, big shout out to Cooler Master for sending the parts for most of this build. Uh, giving me the uh, M Master Look, the ML240 Illusion White Edition. It's a 240 millimeter AIO. Should be plenty of power and plenty of uh, cooling capacity for this 5600X, which actually has a tendency to run very cool. Um, absolutely love this CPU. And so there is our cooling for it. 
And then of course, we've also got our power for it because this is a small form factor build. We're using the beautiful white SFX, the 850 SFX V Gold um, from Cooler Master. It's not only is it small, but it's also white. So we have lots of white components in here, which I think is gonna look really, really rad and pretty and cute. And then lastly, our GPU, which I love this GPU because it doesn't take up a ton of room. Um, and this is the uh, Gigabyte Vision uh, RTX 3060, great 1080p card. Um, and so uh, what I think is gonna look great. We're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, vertical mounting it. Um, so you'll get plenty of the views in there um, and it should look nice. So, and then all of that is going inside of our one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater, right there, the uh, purple in our 200P. Look at that, it's, it's so pretty, it's so much purple. You can see the purple highlights everywhere, so it should be um, going from there. I, I wish, you know, honestly, uh, FB Player 54, I wish I had the 3070 version of that right now. I have the 3080 version, but it's in a different machine. So if I had that, I would have put that in here, but a 3080 Ti with the V850, Probably just not. I'm not. I'm not going to be. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Honestly, if I if I had my choice, I'd put a 3060 Ti in here because this would this would have been a great 1440p just kind of behemoth at that point in time. Uh, point in time. Czar 103, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you and going out. Flying purple people leader. It's a one-eyed, one-horned flying purple people leader. One-eyed, one-horned flying purple people leader. <clears throat> It, does, it looks like a knuckle buster. What does that even mean, why, why kid? I don't even know what I think these, these turns these days. So this case is the purple in our 200P. Okay, so let's start building. What do you guys say, build time? This guy gets it, that's right, I get it. <laughs> okay, let's get this done. Why, do you think the 37 with eight gig VRAM isn't future proof? I think that's, I don't think that's an issue at all. Yeah, it's build time, guys. Do you remember Flying Purple People Eater movie? I did not even see the movie. I didn't know there was a movie. So, ugh, there was a movie? Are we changing any fans? Uh, I don't think there are any fans. Yeah, we'll be, I think there's fans that are at the top of the case, but we won't be using those. We'll be using the, uh, the white ones. We'll play around with it as we go. I got lots of parts that we might pull through. And you know what, I got a, I got a team who's always ready to update that parts list over at Robitech, robitechdeals.com. Ever used in Hellhound 6700 spectral white GPU in a build? I have not. Uh, it sounds like it's really hard to get though. As if any GPU isn't hard to get, but that one sounds especially hard to get. We're changing all the fans, that's right. This is 1600 USD, yes. If you were able to get it all at MSRP. So Harvey, I do, I, I do commissions for builds. So if you actually wanna build, like say friends, you were like, hey Roby, I'd like to buy this build. I will sell you this build. And then you have the option of having me stream and build it. Um, or not. Um, so yeah, if you uh, if you like this build, uh, depending on what parts I've used, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'll just keep it. Can I'll just keep it. Uh, I'll keep it uh, all put together, and then I'll sell it to you. So if you never feel afraid to write and be like, hey, Roby, can I buy that build off of you? Sometimes, sometimes they say no though, because we want to keep the GPU for future builds or stuff like that. But sometimes I say yes, and then you get to just have the build. Will it be an exhaust at the end of the stream? <clears throat> oh, by the way, we do have a build that is very similar to this that is on sale right now. So if you want a small form factor PC, we have one for sale. It's brand new. Uh, it got used for a single video and then it's just been sitting there. It's, uh, we, you're seeing a link to it right there, the NZXT H1 Mini Plus. It's about the size of this, it's all white. I, I, I might, you know what, honestly, I might, I'll probably show it off on Monday, I'll open it so you guys can see it. We're selling it for basically at retail. So if you wanna pick something up, uh, just reach out, DM me on, uh, on uh, and we'll go, we'll show it off on deals today too, uh, if you're interested in it. But for now, let's go ahead and start opening this up. It's like 1600 bucks. Yeah, we do have PCs for sale. What would the price be of this build be now? Uh, so it would be, this build would be the uh, retail cost plus 10% plus the 15% commission fee versus the build that I'm selling that I just linked. There's no commission fee on that one because it's a pre-built.
Uh, uh, the airflow on the NR200P is fantastic, Snoob. You uh, go look at our NR200P Max video review. I love this case, um, especially if you set the fans up right. Hey guys, ready for tiny one? I do think, yes, I do think at some point in time they will go down. It, you know what, If honestly, if crypto keeps doing what it's doing, it'll be sooner than you think. Man, crypto, just keep diving. Uh, you can go to Discord, discord.gg slash robitech. Oh, nice, wiki. Why kid, sorry. Uh, put that like that, and that like that. Okay, I think, I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm gonna put this right here as we put this together in case I need stuff out of it. Look at that, look at, look at how small it is. We should probably zoom in, it's so small, so attractive. See, look, this is a mini ITX versus a DTX versus a mini DTX versus a micro ATX versus a, I, so this shows you just how much smaller this, uh, this motherboard is. Brrrr. There we go. Okay, there we go. Just a little, little extra zoom there so you guys can take a look at it. Okay, so let's get our CPU out. You hope the, I hope so too, Quintus. I hope so too. Okay, let's get our peels done first. Peel in. Nothing but peeling. Enhance. Yeah, that's right. I like that. We're like a really bad cop movie. Enhance. Okay, wow, that is some sticky. Oh, okay, let go. Mm. Come on. Ah, there it is. All right. Enhanced all the way open. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's get this in the center there. Pretty simple little process we're going to use here. Grab our 5600X. I'm hooked on appealing from Burnerton. I'm high on believing. You're in love with me. I love that movie. Okay, here we go. Putting our Ryzen in. You're just going to put it in a little sideways. Then you're just going to gonna go like this. And then you go like that, like that. And there you go. That's how you install the CPU. But you have to do the twirl. You know what I mean? That's super important uh, to make sure that you do the twirl um, and go on from there. So if you don't do the twirl, that's not, it's not going to, it's not going to do you again. Hey, uh, let me be super clear, guys. Uh, I don't, if, you, if you're a fan of one CPU over the other, in this show, we use them all. I use Intel, I did 12th gen, literally just the other day. I do AMD, I do all of them. Uh, they all have their place within this, so please don't, don't, don't fight about what is the better CPU, to be honest. So, music, what are you talking about? The music's playing, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm just saying, you need the twist in there. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go, you gotta go from there, so. <clears throat> You don't hear it? Do you, I, I have it. Oh, mate, is it too quiet now? Well, it's, it's in between songs. What happened? Oh, there it is. Can you guys hear it now? <clears throat> I see it playing through the stream. Okay, there you go. Okay, good. I'm paying attention. I listen to your feedback. Feedback. Your feedback. Your feedback. Don't at me, yo. Okay, it's, there it's playing around. Is it messy? Yeah, I, yeah. I, okay, so there was a risk here with this one because uh, this this is this is like a very tight pattern, which may not necessarily be the best for the sh for the camera. So yeah, you are getting a little bit of weirdness there. Now, when I'm in cam, it's not so bad, like because it's not zoomed in. It's like it seems to be okay. Eh, it's even then. I might want to switch shirts. I, I was trying to wear the purple. Sorry guys, I, yeah, I just like, I wanted to get dressed up, but yeah, it's just, maybe I go to the, tr maybe I go to the jacket. Should I go to the jacket? Is it, is it annoying? Cause let me know if it's annoying. I'll go to the jacket. Uh, if you, if you guys really, if you guys really want me to. Don't, I'm gonna move, <laughs> I have to move. Everybody's like, I like the effect. More, yeah, more shirt. <clears throat> we'll take a vote. Blondie's gonna do a vote. If I need to change to the jacket, I'll switch to the jacket. I, I, I was trying to be, I was trying to be in a mood. I mean, I was trying, not in a mood, in a, in a thing. Juggalo, can you get it here in the next five minutes? That's the question. 
Yeah, it's the pattern more than anything. I can switch, should, should I switch, guys? I won't take it off here in front of you, you guys, Lord. Not, this is, this is special, this is special, this is like family friendly. I don't wanna gross you out. Um, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's grab our, let's grab our thing. Everybody's like, now, now I have like the gross people coming out. Take it off. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit where, so you guys can see the clicks here. We'll stop the music. Uh, this is the 5600X. Blondie's gonna do a vote, guys, and you guys make the call. If it's annoying, we'll let you know. Put it, make sure you vote over on Twitch. Is it a change up time or not? And then go and vote and we'll make a call. I, can, I have a jacket right here I can switch to. Okay, so there it is right there. Gonna go ahead and do the switch. Here we go, first one. How's the click? So, that was like, that was hard to click. That was hard to click right there. That was a, like a genuinely like, I was like a little worried about that one. That was not the best. Oh, that was 98.7 on that one though. Uh, Republic, uh, with there, you can get them right. You can get them from our Robitech store. They're actually for sale right now. That one's right there. That was a good click. Shirt is winning. Okay, so we're gonna go with this. There it is, 98.7. It's 59 to, gosh, it's like halfway. I feel terrible. That's like, a, like now it's like half the people are like change it, half the people aren't. Like, I don't even know how to deal with that. How many votes did we have total? Only, oh, did only 22 people vote? <laughs> a record for clicks is like 107. That means a lot of people are pretty indifferent. Oh, 37 people voted. So not a ton of people. Yeah, 104, I think, was the highest that we've ever gotten. It was like 104, 107. Somebody said I was stained. Uh, Stigmatic, so yeah, we, the vote was over on uh, Twitch. Okay, I'm gonna remind you guys one more time. We're gonna put the vote up one more time. You have to vote at twitch.tv slash Robitech. If you want me to change my special effects shirt, we want me to change my special effects shirt, go vote. We're putting the vote over on Twitch, and you have a couple, you go, go vote there, twitch.tv slash Robitech, if you wanna vote to make the thing. I am gonna go off of what this vote says, okay? So please, please go vote if you really care. If you don't care, fine, that's fine. I just, I won't take it personally. Okay, so we got that in, let's put our M.2 in now. M.2. .m the beautiful Moir shirt, yeah. Well, people know it's just, it's giving a special effect on screen, so people are like, what's going on? Juggalo, that's, that's Juggalo right there. It's Shirtgate 2021. Hey, Canadian John, thank you for the five gifted subs. Taking us to 66, we're getting up there, guys. We are getting close to 100. If we hit 100 before the next thing, then we'll, like I'm hoping we hit 150, because if we hit 150 before the hype train, then we'll probably give away a CPU for sure. And then now, by the way, we have the $250. Oh, actually, I'm um, sorry. We'll have the at $250. Okay, so change it up. Go, we'll change it up. So we're going to have a $200 mark, which will be a 5600X, right? Because a 5600, how much is a, let me just check this real quick. We might have to change this real quick. We're going to do an audible. We're going to do an audible. No, okay, no, it's got to. It's gotta stay the same. Okay, so we're gonna have a 300, I think a 300 mark, by the way, guys. We'll have a 300, so that'll be the difference. Okay, so in between 250 and 350, we'll now have a 300, which will be a 3050. Leave the fancy shirt. Okay, so that's a that's a clear win right there. Um, we'll have an in between now, so at 300, we'll give away a 3050. So if we get to 300 subs today, we'll give away a, three, a 3050. They weren't that fast. She let it up for a while. Sabine's like, were, were you were like, were you like on the like you were on the fence? You needed time to think about what you wanted to put. No, that'll be moving forward. So in between 300 and three, uh, 3,500, we'll have it. I was mining. <laughs> Ooh. 
That'll be moving forward. 30, 50 will pop in there. There's our crucial P5. Did I just shoot the screws somewhere? To this thing? Did I put them somewhere? Like, I don't see them. Oh, they're right in front of me. I'm like blind. I'm like, where are the screws? They're right in front of me. <clears throat> uh, 250, uh, uh, 200, they go for about 262. Well, but they go for 289. And so 300 is like the, I always round up to the closest 100. No, the screws are not loose. I just do them dumb. You guys are like, duh, Roby, we knew that. Don't need to ask. There we go, first one in. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add another M.2 to this. I just realized this, because I realized we get, this one has a rear. Whoa, come, where'd it go? There it is. We, this has got a rear M.2 slot, and it shows through the back. So we're gonna put an RGB M.2 on this, because you gotta have RGB. Okay, so Tom, we're gonna have to add this. What's up, Nerf? And I miss you too, by the way. Okay, there it is. On the back of this is an M.2 slot. Yes, yes, and I can put RGB. RGB M.2, yes! Everybody say yes, yes. Put an RGB M.2 on the back. Hmm, I got choices. I got choices here. RGB M.2. Ooh, I got two, let's see. One terabyte should be good. Oh, I got these two too. 512, one terabyte. Okay, one terabyte it is. We're gonna put some yas on this. I haven't got to use this yet. RGB M.2 guys going on the back. There it is right there. We need some, yeah, there we go, see? Right there, RGB M.2. Who doesn't wanna use that? I do. I do! Oh, thank you for the prime. Go, oh, it's 70 guys. I think, guys, we're almost a third of the way towards a 30-50 giveaway. Good, yo. Uh, I'm glad everybody's in full approval. Music's hopping. RGB stopping. We are on fire. Oh, uh, just so, uh, just so, uh, just so uh, Tom is aware, this is the uh, XPG Spectrix S20G one terabyte. Uh, just so you know, so you can add that to the, the page. Is Tom here? Did Tom run away? I haven't heard from Tom. Where's Tom? Oh yeah, never mind. He was making fun of me. He was saying that the card dot declined. That's right. Never mind. He, he is here. No, you can see it. Craig Lilly, you will be able to see it. It, it, it shows up like through the gate because I have it on my Macs and I realized, I realized you can see it. So I'm, that's why I put it in there because you can actually see it. Tom did not die. This is a small form factor build, Bella. Come on. Oh, stick it. Come out, little screw. Come out of your house. There we go. Okay, little screws out. Okay, we can put this in here. Little screw. I see you. Okay, little screws out. We're gonna put this away. Tom's rebooting. Yeah, he had to go clean his servos. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put our little XPG. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All that RGB being unleashed. Look at it, it's unleashed, guys. Unleashed back there. Okay, so this is all built. I'm gonna go ahead and put our, uh, let's put our thermal paste on. Our Noctua here, we got it ready to go. Noctua, Noctua. Gonna put more thermal paste on. Okay, there we go. That's called, this is called the smallpox method of thermal paste, you like it? It's called, a, it's a Jackson Pollock. It's a Jackson Pollock right there. 
That'll look really good, right? And then we spread it around. Go get a thin layer here. Thin layer. Cover that CPU. There we go. Thin layer of thermal paste did did on there. Uh, Predius, Predrius. Uh, there it is, like there. There's a link right there for you. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. My Jackson Pollock part. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to it's fun to play around. This makes me want to go. <clears throat> I I haven't done anything yet. I haven't I haven't gotten to the I haven't I haven't skipped nothing. I will get there. How do they skip them? You will see it. Okay, let me let me let me let me show you guys. Let me show you guys something here. Let's take it take a minute. Luckily, I have a demo for you. I have a demo for you right here. is an NR200P Max. This is my favorite, one of my favorite builds. Let me show you something. You white, right there. Look, it's right in the corner. And I like it. So that is what you'll see. That's why I know it was gonna be, that's why I was gonna show. So there it is. You will see it on the back. It shows just, it's right perfectly placed. You just get a nice little, put some white, get some nice glow out of the back versus just the other side. So that's why I put it on there. Um, because I knew it was gonna show up. Because I have another build exactly like it. This build is awesome, by the way. Uh, I love this build. I forgot. I think the top is, yeah. This is, uh, this is a 5950X. It's a 5950X, by the way. Uh, the the uh, even under full load, even under full load, this thing never gets above like this thing never this thing never gets above 70C. It's this the, whatever AIO they put in this, and this is an RTX 3080 Ti uh, Founders Edition. This thing is so clean, and this thing blows so much air. Um, I absolutely love the NR200P Max, and this is like just a great. Uh, case to basically put it in. So this is our, this is the build that we use. We do all of our gaming on like when we do our gaming shows. So it blows, that's right. Um, so yeah, really, really love this build. And then yeah, it's just that that uh, RGB, the RGB M.2 um, is just, it just like, it just sits right in the right place. So you get like a great view of uh, the, uh, you get a great view of the, um, the, in, the, the, uh, the RGB there, so yeah, that's why I did it. So yeah, just so you guys know, I know Kev Tech likes sometimes he he wants he wants proof, and he has been wrong, and I mean he has been right, and so I will not doubt him. But sometimes it's just showing people. It's like yes, you can. It actually I like where it's at. So uh, no, the case will not support an ATX motherboard. It's mini ITX only. It's a true small form factor. There it is. We first built this, we had like an ASRock 6900 XT in it, and then I went to the 3080 Ti. And it's got a thousand watt SFF in it, I think. Go. So anyway, there you go. Okay, let's put this back together. Uh, the current build, Bry, is going to be the 3060. 
just a 3060 white, and it'll be vertically mounted, like the one that you just saw. Uh, because honestly, uh, at the time when we switched it all out, I mean, NVIDIA is just still a much more, um, a much more, what's the word I'm looking for? Supported card um, is the word. Um, and supported in the way that, supported in the way that uh, with DLSS and with their new, like their FSR uh, kind of copy and uh, streaming and all that sort of stuff, it's still just kind of a better card. And I'll be honest, man, with that latest batch of AMD drivers, like I have a custom water-cooled 6900 XT build that we were trying to play with, man, and I have had so many issues with AMT's GPU drivers, a ton. And it's like, so it's just been painful. So yeah. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so a 1080 tie, yeah, it Strix, Strix 1080, I don't remember uh, if that would fit or not. Okay, so this uses the standard retention block bracket. So yeah, we're good. We don't have to do anything for the case. All right, so let's get this put in. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Our purple case. So excited about this. Uh, so I have a team, I have an amazing Team Red device though. It's made by the One X player. It's using the 5700U. And I will tell you on the games, like uh, the ones that I really appreciate it in are uh, the um, uh, crud. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn has FSR installed in it. So I'm playing like basically uh, 1200 by 1600. Yeah, I think it's 1200 by 1600 resolution. Like, like, shot, like, looks as good as it did on the PlayStation. No problem on this tiny PC, and it's awesome. So, like, I have been, like, FSR has started to impress me, especially as I've started to see more games doing it well. Um, uh, I have the Mini coming, which is using the Intel with Iris, and you can also hook it up to an eGPU and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see how that goes too, but pretty cool with the uh, One X player so far. You need $400 more, huh, Nagia? You're getting close, huh? Thoughts on an AIO, uh, Bright Gamer. If you buy from Corsair, Cooler Master, NZXT, Fantex, as long as you buy one of those brands, you will not have a problem. Nice, you're getting super close, man. Yeah, purple, purple. Purple, purple. Well, that's good. Purple is, I agree, Hover Girl. It's a great color. Okay, lots of purple. I'm excited how this build's gonna turn out. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. Big zip tie or uh, uh, twisty tie out of the way here. Brum, 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 brum. Man, that was a big twisty tie. Okay, let's take this off. Oh, I gotta take the back out first. Oh, there's no, oh, they didn't put a screw on it. There we go. God, look at that. That looks so good. The purple and black. Okay, and then we just need to get this out. In order to do that, we're gonna remove this little side panel here. Because we're gonna go to vertical mount over horizontal mount. Ooh, we're really zoomed in. We're really zoomed in. Oh boy, oh boy. Pluto, we're too zoomed in. They can't see the build very well. <clears throat> there we go. 72 subs, guys, we're getting there. Yeah, it is, in a lot of ways, you're right, it's like a Joker PC. Okay, there is our fans and all that stuff. Take this out. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so first step in our journey today, guys, our first step in our journey is putting our little bad boy in here. There we go. There it is, perfect. Lined up, oh, there it is. So far, so good. So far, so good. Tom, dang you. Tom, dang you. It's this one, XPG Spectrix S20 G1 terabyte. Mr. Dave now. Uh, no, the faceplate, uh, the, it's got an integrated IO shield. Okay, so this has just got the fans that I'm not gonna use. We don't need that. There's our stuff I do need. I'm not gonna use the what black ones. We're gonna use the ones that built into the AIO. AIO. Now, oh, that reminds me. That's right, that's right, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. What fans are on this? This has got those illusion fans. Let me see if I have two more, because I want to do the top. That's right, I'm remembering now. Now I remember why you asked that question, because there's top-mounted white fans. Let's see here, what do we got here? What do we got? Cooler Master fans, Cooler Master. I know Cooler Master fans, I do, I do. Where are they? Oh, here they are. What do we have? That's a white sickle flow. That's what we need right there. The Master Fan MF120 Halos. That's what we need. <clears throat> we need those. <clears throat> okay, so we got the fans that we need to go with this because we basically need these to plug in. I wonder if I should use the same, hold on, let's not use those. I wanna use, I have, I think I have the right ones for that too. Hold on, 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 these are 120s. Oh, there we go, that's what we want right there. These, these are the same ones, but RGB. Okay, we're gonna use the Sickle Flow 120 ARGBs for the top of this. So they're the same fans and they'll they'll work. Now, can I get the little grates out is the question. I think this just comes out, right? Yeah, this just comes out. So those are gonna go on the top of the white ones that we're gonna use. Doesn't come out very easily, which is the part that's rough. Ugh, come on, I don't wanna break these. Please don't break but I need you. Okay, so there we go. Come on, baby. Okay, got it. Okay, so those are so I can put on, change out the fans to the white ones. Okay, I can go back in the box later. <sighs> this is gonna look really good, by the way. So this is what I was working on, just so you know. So I've got these right here. So we're gonna make sure we have all the white fans and all the white awesome. 
So these are the sickle flow. S, the air one, they're not as good in terms of quality. Uh, anytime you had RGB, it always kind of str struggles a little bit, but. They look the same, which is gonna be good. So there we go. difficult there we go okay fans are out okay so these we're gonna go on this are purple and the back is here it's like this so these have got to go like that right no nope, this like this okay like this a little bit longer in terms of now we're gonna pull we're gonna be pulling air all the way through. So we wanna intake, yeah, we wanna intake through the bottom. So we'll do intake through the bottom, exhaust to the top. So it'll be a single kind of pull through air, which we've proven has been the most effective in terms of the, and we'll put these little gates on. So I love these little things. This makes mounting the fans really easy. There's those fans. Yep, that spins freely. Cool. And then here's our other one. I love this little mounting mechanism for this for this case. Makes it really easy because all you got to do is just kind of push the fans in. That's all there is to it. They just like go right in these holes and it makes it really easy. And there you go, the fans are in. Okay, so we've got our top fans mounted. So those are gonna pull through and then like I said, we're gonna just exhaust. So we'll have air going straight up through the center is the plan. Okay, so those are ready. Take care of that later, but that takes care of that whole thing. Now we can put our, put our fans in here. Mount our, our board. Now you might be asking yourself, and you're right, one of the things we're not gonna be, do, we're gonna be doing this in not the best way. Uh, I, actually, it might be okay on this one. We'll have to look. I don't remember where the pump is on this fan, on this AIO. Is it on the... No, it's actually on the cold plate. Yeah, so the, the this will not be like ideal. Uh, this will not be ideal for the, uh, the, uh, AIO, because we will be bottom mounting the AIO. Um, so the pump will be at the top of the loop here. Um, just means that every once in a while, I have a tendency, what I do, and I have this, I have a bunch of, uh, I have a number of, I have one other build that is like this. It's in a white one. Uh, and I, it has a bottom mounted Corsair AIO. And uh, it, I haven't had any cooling issues, sound issues or anything with it. Um, one of the things that we have done um, we just tested this with a full loop is, um, is every once in a while we'll just run it upside down. So we'll run it on its head for 24 hours. And uh, that's, it's, it, so far it has worked. Uh, and it's just a physics thing. I talked to a couple engineers they are like, well, if you're actually having this issue, this is something you can do. Now we just have been doing it to prevent the issue from ever happening, but uh, not sure if it would continue that way or not. So, okay, so motherboard is in. Take all these out, we'll use these later. 
How is chat doing today? That's a great question. I like that you asked that question. Thank you very much for asking, AO Snipes. No, we're using an AIO. We're gonna AIO cool this. You know, it's funny, I could air cool it. That is an option, I could just air cool it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We could air cool it, but then it won't, yeah, because if we air, well. That is a good, I could air cool it. I don't know how it would do. If we got a lot of air into it, it might be okay. If I was gonna use, I could use the low profile cooler on this. So I could use that Noctua low profile cooler. And then, like I said, we just have fans just blowing straight through. And then you just have the, the side mounted AIO. That might work. So that's, I mean, again, we couldn't, we're, we can, it's, uh, we can't, we can put the bottom, we can put the, like you'll get more RGB, it will look better if I do it the way that I was going to do it. But again, the IO will mostly be covered by the GPU that'll be sitting across the front of it. So I don't know if it really matters. It would simplify the build a lot. You know what I mean? Um, overdoing, uh, so yeah, I, oh, let, me, let me ask, let me ask my, let me ask my tech specialist. I always love doing this stuff, tech specialist. The question is, do we continue moving forward with the master liquid or do we go ahead and put the Noctua air cooler in it? That Noctua air cooler is awesome. It would be, uh, let's put it to a vote. Air cool or AIO? That's a great question. Let's let it. You guys vote. So let me show you the air cooler we'd be using. I love this air cooler, by the way. <clears throat> Um, and we'd be giving, I think we'd be feeding it a lot of air. I'd want to test it. But we'd be feeding it a crap ton of air. So we'd use the NHL9A from Noctua. Uh, we wouldn't use the or brown, we'd use the black one. Which I have in here somewhere, right? Do I have a black one? Oh, geez. Hold on, guys. Uh, I'm looking for it. Don't put it for a vote yet. Let me get, let me get in here. That's the online eye. There it is, okay, whew. I have a lot of, a lot of fans here. I was like getting nervous. Oh, I just have another Noctua down here. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so here's the L9A. So I do have it. Okay, so I would, I would do it with this. So it's the Noctua NH L9A AM4. So we could air cool with this and not use the ML. Again, I don't think it would take away aesthetically because it would be mostly hidden. So, yeah, it does a great job. I don't think it would have any problem whatsoever. So let's put it to a vote. Noctua or MS, uh, Noctua or Cooler Master, uh, air-cooled or AIO, you guys vote. Let's put the vote up now, and then we'll change the, uh, the, the build for that. I would not use a single tower in a 5950X, no. Yeah, it should be absolutely, I think you're right, Ord Chaos, yeah. You guys vote, cooling, air-cooled or AIO? You make the vote. AI, AIO. Tom's hating me right now, but this is fun. I like including you guys, so uh, going from there. It won't change the aesthetics all that much. We'll just put nice, we'll put RGB fans at the bottom and then blow air all the way through. Uh, some of them are, this one is not. I never hit you, oh, thank you. Guys, we are seven, 73 subs, we're at 73. So, man, we're only, uh, we only need like 20, what? 27 subs and then we'll be despised. Wow, wow. Genie. <laughs> we're seeing what people are voting. Vote over at twitch.tv slash Robitech, guys. If you're gonna vote, vote over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. <laughs> Oh, that is close. Air cool is a win. Air cool is winning. 50, 41 votes, 59% said air cool. Everybody else said, okay, so everybody is saying air cool. Uh, do you guys, okay, let me, air, it sounds like we're gonna air cool it. Okay, we're gonna air cool it, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the motherboard out and then we'll, uh, we're gonna switch, and only grab one more of these fans, these 120s, because we'll put that 120 at the bottom and we'll have the matching white fans. Sickle Flow 120. Yeah. 
Luckily, I'm in one more of these sickle flows. Okay, so let's pull this out real quick and then we're gonna mount the air cooler. No, this is not a commission build. This is just to show off the purple NR200P. This one was sponsored by Cooler Master. It is better, it is definitely better than air cooling. I mean, if I was gonna air cool this build, I mean, sorry, AIO build, I would actually use the MSI, an MSI cooler because the uh, air, I mean, uh, AIO, and I do, I wouldn't do white, I'd do black. Um, main reason being is that I do that is because the pump is actually on the radiator, which means it wouldn't be at the highest point. Um, that's the only thing is, is that this is, from a, from a practice standpoint, much, much more responsible from a build standpoint, and Steve from Gamers Nexus won't be as mad at me. Okay. Okay, so let us, we gotta get this mounted. We don't want an angry Steve. Okay. We'll see how temps are, like for sure. We'll definitely test this and see how temps are because we'll want to see that just for fun. I'm curious though, guys, given how much black is in this build, you think we should go purple and black versus purple and white? Okay, one more vote, one more vote, guys, because we can we can make the change now while I'm mounting the AIO. Do we, should we go purple and black or purple and white? That's the question, because it's gonna change, we change some stuff from there. Purple and black or purple and white? You guys make the vote. Purple, black, purple, white. Purple, black, purple, white. Vote on, vote at the channel. I have all the parts to do either one. Purple, black, purple, white. Make a vote on the colors, guys. On twitch.tv slash robitech. Make your vote there, guys. Purple, black, purple, white. Now's the time to change it before I get too far. Colors are coming up, what's the vote? Purple, black it is. Okay, we're gonna change it all. This build is not gonna be anything the same like it was. <laughs> I'll have to get a, new, I'll get a new value. Purple, black it is. Okay, so we're gonna change everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go get new RAM. Won't change the, won't change the Spectrix, but we are gonna change the GPU and we're gonna change the, uh, yeah, more RAM clicks. Okay, let me go choose new RAM. So Tom can change all the parts. You guys are making all sorts of changes today. Making all sorts of changes. Okay, so we have black. You know what, let's just use the Vengeance. So hey, uh, Tom, we'll just use the exact same stuff. Let me see, do I have a, do I have a two by 32 kit? is 16, 16, 16, 16, 
That's all. Oh, here's a 32. Yeah, but I don't like their RGB. It doesn't look as good. Sixteen, 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 sixteen. Lots of sixteens. That's eight. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. We'll do this. We'll do this. Actually, I like this rim. We'll do use this rim. Okay, so we're actually gonna switch, guys. So we can get thirty-two gigs in here. Okay, so that's that. What GPUs do I have? That are... Okay, thirty sixty Ti that we have. 3060 Ti, the ideal. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think that would be a little bit better. I mean, I wish I have a Strix 3070 Ti. I don't have any mini, I don't have any 3070s. I have Founders Edition. I don't know if we want to use a Founders Edition though. Yeah, let's use, if we're gonna go black, we want RGB though. I don't know if a triple slot would fit in there. Let's try it. We're gonna do triple slot. Let's see how this works. Let's see if this works. Okay, guys, we're gonna try. I don't know if this fits or not. Hey, Tom. Okay, so we're gonna go with, for RAM, we're gonna use a Lexar Hades. This is a 32 gig kit. Uh, Lexar Hades, 32 gig kit. I like this RGB. Tom, will you check if this will fit in there? This is a 3070 for the Win 3. See if this will fit. And then we're gonna switch. PSUs to black. Because <clears throat> I like the RGB on that. That would look really good. Do I have another? I have multiple 1250. Because we're cooler master, we're staying cooler master. So we'll use their 750 SFX gold in the build. Okay, cool. So we're gonna switch to 750 SFX gold for our PSU. Don't worry guys, this actually won't It's just a lot of black in this build. So I think it'll look better. Okay, we're gonna use the V750 SFX for the PSU. Because we're air cooling this, it won't take as long. So this little bit of time won't be that bad, guys. We'll be caught up. What am I looking for now? I need... These rams, are these fans. I'm gonna check these out. I'm excited about these. Need four of these. And we're gonna use these cool fans I've never used before, guys. They're called the Master Fan SF120P. I wish I had more of those, but I don't. Check these bad boys out. More RGB. That's all I'm saying. We're gonna use these four fans from the Sickle Flows. Check these out. So we're gonna use four of these instead. And they have RGB on the side. Look at that. So use these Master Foreign SF120Ps. Not use the sickle flows. So lots of RGB and then we'll make it all purple. Yeah, okay, so we'll make it all purple. We're on it now. I just need to know if that, G, that GPU will work. That PSU will work. I mean, sorry, that GPU will work. See you later, Nagia. Uh, but what about thickness? We're gonna vertical, it should be okay. I think it'll be okay. Cause we're gonna vertically mount it. Okay, cool. We'll test it. Okay, we're gonna throw this Lexar RAM in here. Yeah, it's a thick boy. Hey, Kristen, thank you very much for the one gifted sub. 76, guys, let's get, 
Okay, you guys are getting the build you want. Let's get the hype going. Let's see if we can give away 3050 today. Canadian John in first place. Igor giving out a gifted sub. Let's see if we can get a. Let's see if we can give away a, a 3050 today. I'm, I'm giving you guys. It's user's choice day. Let's see how that goes. Let's get this in here. 32 gigs of RAM versus 16. Oh man, that was loud. Oh, what, how loud was that? Oh, that was loud. Wow, that was really loud, guys. We gotta see how loud that was. That was crazy loud. Ninety-seven on that one. Ninety-seven. <clears throat> Ninety-seven. Okay, let's get this in because we're uh, uh, we're playing around. We want to get. We still want to get the build built. No, oh, I forgot to put this back on there. Crap. Two hundred twenty likes on YouTube, guys. We're almost twenty away from a hundred. We're almost uh, almost a third of the way towards that goal. Sergeant Assassin getting up there too. There it is, eighty. Now we're twenty away. And there's this, and there it is, nineteen. Almost to uh, 3050. We gotta get to 300. We can do it. We can do it, people. Okay, let's get this air cooler on real quick. Tom, as soon as you let me know when you have all new parts uh, and send me a new list, and I'll uh, let me know so I can update YouTube real quick, and then total. It's the NR200P. Wow, Blondie, we're using a 332 gigabyte kit. I like, I like busting. Oh, come on, let go. Oh, shoot. Ah, let's not screw that up, ropes. Almost like we got the back plate. It's like, wait a minute, something's not right. There we go. Look how quick these are. Thermal paste is already on there. Thermal paste is knock two. I've already got it on. It was I spread it earlier. It's just sitting on the it was sitting on the chip. And it's knock two a thermal paste. Okay, now we are up to black. We just have black, all black there. <clears throat> wow, look at all those guys, 88. We're super close to already being a third of the way there. Oops. We've changed this whole build. <laughs> Poor Tom. It's a 3070 Ti. 
It's a 3070, sorry, not 3070 Ti, 3070. The uh, TI is at Connor's house right now. Or I would have, I think at 3070, I'm using a 750 watt PSU, so we're gonna use a 3070, it'll be a little bit safer. There we go. What's up, PC guy? go. Okay. So that is pretty much ready for the next step. Let's get our fans installed, which means we gotta remove these again. Because we're gonna do a white build before. Now we're doing black. Because you guys voted. This is fun. You guys are like involved today. Uh, it, does, it hasn't released yet. Comes out in, it comes out, uh, in, uh, I think, next week. Ninety-one PC guy, we're there. Super close, guys. Who's gonna get us to a hundred? There we go. Okay, we're using these new fans now, these new fangled fans I've never used before. Pretty excited about them. Justin 4 in 6S 101 and GST, there we are. Oh wait, no, that seems like we went higher. Okay, so there we are guys. We're on our way towards the next goal. We are at 102. So next one is a $150 new A gift card. We're at 150. 102 in the bag. We are over a third of the way towards that 3050 though. That's the key part. Well, I appreciate it, Justin. I super do. It's uh, your goat right now. Kristen doing another gifted subs. Okay, here we go. Here's that net. Look at these, fa ooh, those are pretty. Those are genuinely pretty fans, guys. Look at those. Ooh, look at those. Those are fancy. Those are fancy. Look at that. This will be really cool when we get it all into purple. Hold on one sec, guys. Hey, what's up? Hey, where are you? I'm streaming. Oh, like yeah, you're on the phone with uh, with uh, 700 people. Oh, okay. Do you, is, are you waiting for mom? Yeah. Oh, mom's supposed to, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, well then I will talk to you later. Oh, okay. What's the question? Bye. Okay. Daughter didn't know I streamed. Okay, there it is, guys. Ooh, that's gonna look good. I'm, I, I, you know, I gotta say, I think we made the right call. Fancy schmancy. Yeah, I think the, I think those are gonna look good.
Come on. Come on. Give, oh, there it is, okay, thank you. I was like, give it, give me the, give me the blooming. There, okay. Okay, so let's put this away. Put this away. Uh, these are the, the fans are these. Here you go, so you can see. Uh, 50, I have, we have, we have tested, I need to go, I need to ask uh, our tech guy what we've tested with this. I think we've done it with a 5800X, but I'm not sure. But I know 5600X was no problem. And I think we've done it with a 10, uh, 11700 k but this fan is actually, if you give it a lot of air, it does a really good job cooling this thing. Okay, let's put these fans back. Need to grab this. Because we got RGB up the yin yang. We also have this on here, uh, add this in there too, uh, <clears throat> Tom. <clears throat> 103. Now we're on our way to almost halfway. We're on our working towards the halfway part. Okay, there's one fan in. Okay, next fans are coming up. Wow, thank you very much for the anonymous cheer. About a thousand bits, thank you. Yeah, I like, I like this cooler. Tom's like, what are we doing now? Uh, the fans, Tom, are the Master Fan SF120P ARGB. I put it up on the screen for you so you guys can see. There, there's the fans right there, Tom. Oh, those are gonna look good. I'm just gonna say, those are going to look really good. Oh, look at that. not moving. That is really weird why this is not going in. When all else fails, bang it with a hammer. Okay, what I'm gonna do here.
Okay, let's get this all wrapped up. Need another 500 likes, guys. How many likes do we have on the YouTubes for the one giveaway? All we got, that's not, that doesn't cost any subs or anything. Two seventy. Okay, we're just getting all this packed in. Nice and tight, like. This is gonna look really good. Making sure this is stays so it just we don't have any issues with the Okay. Something showed up FedEx. Okay, there we go. There it is right there. Okay, so we got all that. Okay, so there's those are all controlled and ready for plugging in when we're ready. Okay, so that's all prepared. Let's get the bottom one in. I understand why this is being, this is like being a pain. It's, Really ruining, oh, there it goes, got it. Okay, got it in, okay, cool. Now, next part is let's add, let's add our fans to the bottom. Okay, there's that one. It's coming together, guys. It's believe it or not, it's actually not that far from being done. Once once we basically get this stuff in, it's just hooking up the all the little small connections and the I'm going to put the PSU in next. Why is this not opening? And then once we have the PSU in, it's just like getting those things in and then afterwards, literally adding the GPU and then that's kind of it. It's really just kind of a straightforward build. Now that we are air cooling. So I have to worry about hoses or anything like that, which is cool. Okay, let's get this like this. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to do the bottom, which is actually pretty cool. So we're gonna add the bottom fans. So just unscrew this from the back here. There's a little screw in the back here. There you go. And then this bottom just pops right off. There it goes. So there's our bottom fans ready to go. Remove this little bottom filter here. There we go. Cool. Little build. Okay, now let's get our fans on the bottom here. We're gonna put two more fans.
Let's go to our top down again so you guys can see. Oh, these aren't the same. That's not the same fan. What is this? Oh, that's not the same fan. Okay, let's get the right fan. I don't want this fan. I want the... I'm going to be sad if I don't have four of those. I don't know if you could actually see on the bottom. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't really matter as much, but we're going to... See if I have one more of these. These are not the same fan. This is a Master MF SF120R. That's also an SF120R, okay. Let me see if I have one more package or two more of those other fans. One sec. I might only have two of those fans. Let me see. I have a lot of fans, so that's the thing. Fans down here too. SF. Oh, here we go. We'll just use this. Cool. Ha! We're gonna use this. Okay, new thing from Cooler Master we've never used. There you go, uh, go ahead and put that in the list, Tom. Tom's like, Roby! Roby! That's pretty cool. I didn't even know I had those either. I'm finding all sorts of cool Cooler Master stuff I didn't know I had. Okay, so we're gonna be using the Masterfan SF240P for the bottom, which is gonna be easier. So it's less connections I have to worry about. It's funny, I have two of these. I have one of these for the top too. I mean, it's way easier. We'll keep it the way you have the. Oh, it's got RGB everywhere, baby. Hey, Nephilim, thank you very much for the we're at 105, guys. See, the best thing about this is it's just only got that single connection. This actually simplifies quite a bit. Right, I have two of them, and I, I don't know if it works well with the other thing, though, but regardless, we've got this one. want it to go this way. Okay, there we go. Did you get that, Tom? He's like, I hate you right now, Roby. Don't talk to me. He's like, yes. He's <laughs> do you do you are do you despise me right now, Tom? center this exactly okay we gave him feelings <clears throat> this will be intake yes yeah it's intake it's pulling air all that we're gonna pull the intake from the bottom and exhaust at the top. So it'll basically pull all the way through the same way that I have it on the, uh, the, on the other uh, NR200P. This works the best. There we go.
I didn't even know they had this thing. And I, it's funny because I went down there. I was like, what is this? And there it is, a 240. I have another one I could have used on the top, but that's all wired up now, so we'll leave it alone. Okay, there we go. Now the cool thing is I can have everything controlled from the CPU fan, which means this will all, as the air starts to get, as the CPU gets hauled, it'll control all the air and pull more air in, which would be good. That's my hope. I'm gonna run everything. Oh wait, no. I'm using the, I want, I know I have the pump thing. So I'm gonna have this run off the second one and then I'll just create a curve for it. Let me, did you send me a new list, Tom? Just text me when you did and I'll update it on, on YouTube. That is true, I, 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 it's actually a really cool idea. Uh, right now, Steve Summers, they have a new CPU, the 5800X, that's coming out, a new version of the 5800X to compete with it from a game standpoint. But I mean, they have sixth gen right around the corner, right? So pretty sure it'll be a leapfrog. Is the cable on the right side? I don't know, that's a good question. Nope, it's not, dang it. Okay, actually it would be, yeah, let's switch it, dang it. Good call, thank you for recognizing that I put that on backwards. Put the cables on the wrong side. I blame Tom. <clears throat> yeah, the 5800X 3D, correct. Just a weird name. I'm a little fan challenge. That's right, Hammer J. I should have checked before like I normally do, but I did not. And this is why, it's why you check. Come on guys, let's see if we can get to, so just a reminder of the giveaways. Here's the giveaways that are happening today. First one is that we get two level five hype trains. We've had one already. If we get a second level five hype train before, uh, a second level five hype train, then we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we get 500 likes over at youtube.com slash robitech, there's a stream going there. All I gotta do is hit that thumbs up button. We'll also give away another 250 gig NVMe SSD. Finally, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see where it says 106 right now. If we get to 100, uh, if we get to 200, uh, sorry, if we get to 150, it becomes a $150 new gift card. If we get to 250, it becomes a 5600X or an 11, 12600K. If we get to 300, it becomes a 3050. If we get to 350, it becomes a 5800X. And if we get to 450, it becomes a 3060. So we are trying to get to a 3060 today, I mean a 3050 day at 300. Now lastly, we have that 3070 Ti we're giving away to one lucky sub over at twitch.tv slash robitech. So if you wanna get in on that, all you gotta do is drop your free Amazon Prime subscription, or if you've been gifted a sub from Canadian John or Juggalo Jimmy or Bean Zag or Red Dragon, uh, then uh, what you can do is then uh, you can use your Prime sub to double your chances. In fact, our guy won in July, won a 3080 Ti just off of a single Prime subscription. So if you want to win, there's your chance. Now, if you want to get extra entries, one entry per gifted sub. Uh, don't worry, some people like Red Dragon and those guys aren't actually eligible to win. So you still have a very good chance uh, to actually win a GPU. Uh, and then you can do things gifting tier two and tier three. Tier two gets you uh, five extra entries and tier three gets you 10 extra entries if you want to do it that way too. So there's the stuff that's happening today. While I'm switching my fans around, feels like a good chance. Now, if we get, like I said, if we get to 300, we're gonna give away one of those, R those new RTX 3050s. 
Put the other one at the top. You're talking about the other one of these? I don't think it'll, I, I, you, think it, you think it'll look. No, if, you, if, you ha, if you're a sub, you're automatically entered. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Now, one thing I will say is the reason I'm not using this at the top is because of how the connections work. I'm not sure the, yeah, I don't know if the, the, the little class that you have will work on the top. And I don't know if you, it'll actually matter all that much. There we go, one more screw. Okay, finally got this built. Okay, so all our fans are now installed, which is awesome. I wanna leave that one loose. Okay. Now we're gonna do, because we have all our fans ready. I wonder if Tom texted me, I'm just gonna check. Okay, cool, let me get this fixed. I'm gonna fix the YouTube real quick, guys, since we kind of changed everything. <laughs> so here's what Thomas said. Dear Justin, here are the links you requested midstream after everything was already done. Furthermore, you decided to switch the build up and make my life a living hell. Thank you for that. I truly appreciate it. Very, forever ungrateful, Tom. <laughs> oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Okay, so uh, links are now getting updated for uh, in uh, YouTube, so the links will be accurate. And then the price has gone up to 2000 So there we go. And we've updated that. Oh, Tom, you're the best. Let's hit update our titles, and there you go. Okay, so top, uh, titles are updated, and the links are updated, and Tom is upset, so there you go. Titles have just changed. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna run all of our cables before we get to the next crazy tier. So these are all, just get these all run. So this is our front panel connections. And luckily for the Cooler Master in this one, it's just a nice little add-on here. So um, I don't remember, I think those are USB. Okay, that's our HD audio way over there. The audio is installed. Okay. USB 3.2. It goes right here. Okay, there's our USB 3.2. And then we have our I gotta look and see which one our front panel connection belongs to.
I think it's 11, but I'm just gonna check. Uh, 11, yep, cool, had it right. I was right, but I always like to double check so I don't screw it up. Okay, so 11. Front panel header, their power plus and minus. Yeah, if you wanted to use the USB header, that'd be really hard with this little connector. Okay. Oh, that's not all the way on. That's hard to see. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now everything's plugged in. What I can do to... See if I can run it. Okay, so let's take this off. So what we're gonna do now is just get this stuff out of the way and then run it under the bottom of the PSU. Which will be the best look for it, I think. Then use this side to clean it up. You guys can see it right now. By the way, everybody say thank you, Tom, who is, uh, he's having a rough day today, guys. Tough's ha Tom's having a rough day. Everybody say thank you to Tom. So he feels appreciated. Everybody say thank you, Tom. You're the man. Sorry, Tom. We wanted to have a fun build and you, you're sucking the joy out of it. Thank you for being a team player. Okay, what we're doing right here is just getting a little cluster of, of, little cluster of cables. I'll be able to hide over here. Trying to find the right way to. Get these under control here. Okay, 
Should keep those nice and clean looking, which will look good. Okay, so there you go. So now you have a nice, very clean looking build here. And we'll, once we get the SFF in, then we'll finish moving these out. But see how clean that looks? That looks really good. So nice, clean looking build thus far. Let's get our SFF in, get all that plugged in. Then once that's done, then we can mount our GPU and then the build will pretty much be almost finished. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now let's get our SFF PSU. We're gonna put in our 750 watt L power, I mean 750 watt gold. Oh, before I do that. We have one more header, right? Yeah, right here. So you have three fans that have to get plugged in and three RGB have to get plugged in. We should have a, oh, we have two more fan headers down here. Do we have another, do we have an addressable? Oh yeah, okay, there's the addressable right there. that and let me see if I just I don't have splitters let's just see if I have one that is versus doing this five opening a box of the five so do how many not what I need what is this one four pin Just looking to see what if I happen to have something that's a little bit more. Oh, that's a mic. Okay. So we're going to take this, and this is so we can. Uh, so we can hook up all our RGB from our fans. We have four, three fans. So this is just gonna run off the top here and then we'll hide it later. It's just a lot of cables. I was trying not to have to run, but. Okay, come on, baby. Well, look at, see, that's just like a lot of cables. Wish I had like a dessert. Oh, you know what? I may actually, before I use this, hold on. I may actually. Let me see something. Let me see one thing, guys. One thing, I'm trying to save myself with SFF builds, anytime I can save myself from some like hairy cable management, I'm gonna try. This is what you wanna do for sure. What I wanna see is if inside of one of these triple kits, they give you three, like a triple RGB versus a deal here. Three fan.
three fan connector. No. And then a box. Nope. Guess not. Oh, I bet you, I bet you actually, they daisy chain, don't they? I, did, I didn't see that. Do they daisy chain? I may not need this. I may just be able to daisy chain them. If they reach. They might reach. I didn't even look at that. And if I can daisy chain it, then I'll be good. Look at that real quick. I may not need that at all. That's why they only give you one. These daisy chain, don't they? No, that doesn't. Yeah, I'll need a splitter. Yeah, no, these don't daisy chain. Sucker! Yeah, that would've, I have, I used to have a three one that was like the perfect, but I keep, ooh, keep using them. I keep pulling extra stuff out of my drawer and I think eventually I just run out of all my little extra little connections that, and use them in other builds. And this, the one that I have is like for five, which is an awful lot of cables I gotta hide, but I not see another option. Oh well, I tried. Okay, well we're gonna use the th this one. Okay. Back to where I originally started, guys. And use the one that I found. So now he doesn't have to change anything. You just try and do one thing nice, and the world doesn't work with you. I mean, that's just so many cables. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. The single addressable RGB slot. Okay, so and now everything is ready to hook up. Let's just get our PSU in and then go from there. It's a purple case, that's right. Okay, we need one of these bags of stuff. Yeah, he would, guys, he was not serious. If you guys, don't give Tom a hard time. He wasn't, he wasn't serious. He really is okay. He's not, he's, he's not really upset. We're at 119, guys, 30 away from 150, and then we have a hype train coming up. Our little tiny PSU, it's so small. It says, smells like a tiny PSU. Tom's not upset, he's happy. He's happy as can be. Okay. Now I need cables, the ones that I want. I'm not switching back to AIO now, now, yeah. Okay, so I need power. That is CPU. And then this is, there we go. So the cables I need. 
Don't need SATA for anything. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. That's why I didn't put anything quite yet inside of the thing. Hook it up. There's that one. There we go. Hooking up our little cables now. There we go, CPU or VGA. And our There we go. And there is our CPU. Okay. Let's take this little bad boy. Run it through the bottom here. I think they actually want it the other way, don't they? And then our cable is right here. Okay, getting our PSU installed. That one. Okay, that's the hard part, just getting the first two screws in. Okay. Okay, screws are in. 
Now, pulling this through like this, just to get the cables through. Ow. Ow. Easy fix though. Okay, now PSU is in. Okay, so there we go. PSU is in now. Let's get our cables hooked up. And then we can finally kind of finish our build here. stuff, which I don't need anymore. Okay, build's looking clean. And this is our CPU. One thing I like about these Cooler Master SFX PSUs is that they actually give you a lot of cable length. I like the EVGA ones because of their power and like what they are, but the length of the cables is just a little too short on them. The part that's hard is just using these things. You guys want to use them, but they're hard to get to. It's all part of making this look nice. that little cable thing there, but I need to be able to get to it. Because I think that would look really clean just like that. You know, I think that looks really nice and clean. If I can zip tie that in so it stays that way. <laughs> okay, that looks good actually. Might do one cable just to keep it, a couple cable ties just to keep them together. But. Okay, there's that one. Now this I can use. grippy thing on this.
Okay, we're just getting the cables that are gonna be in the front here under control. Okay, so that takes care of that. And like I said, we'll have the GPU at the top too. Now, this part isn't done because I gotta run the cables. Oh shoot, I need to pull that out. And I'll get this top done and then we'll put our GPU. Okay. Does a good job of hiding the cables. So then this is all we have left, which is for the GPU. Okay, let's get see if we can get our top part on. And where are we gonna hide all this stuff? creating some nice clean lines at least to get that under control so it doesn't move. Okay, there we go. Now we have free reign to can do our controls and all that sort of stuff. And Yeah, now remember, most of that will get hidden by the GPU, but you just want it to have, like, clean and out of the way because this is going to be up and on top of the GPU. Okay, cool. Dang it, did I really do this wrong twice? I had it right the first time. I really had this right the first time, guys. I wasn't fan challenge, I actually had it right. Son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> Dang it. I actually had it right, guys. <laughs> I had it right. 124. sucks because I literally could have just almost been done. We just got to put the GPU in after this. I don't know why I did it.
poor fans have been flipped around so many times. Whiplash, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's Tom's Revenge. Okay. The, the fan cables were pointing the wrong way. Somebody asked what was wrong with it. It's just the fans were going the wrong direction. There we go. But they're fixed now. So there we go. Again, you guys really wanted to see me. Uh, I think the thing was, you guys just really wanted to see me put the fans in a number of times just to make sure that I was doing it right. That's what it was, right? That's what it was, right, guys? The fans aren't spinning. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. You're the best. Okay, there we go. See something real quick, guys. No. Okay. Okay, now let's get this in. Well, actually, yeah, we can get this in and then we can do the bottom after this, okay. Is the bottom to this now? Okay, so there's our bottom. Yeah, there's that. Okay, let's see how our GPU is gonna do now. Okay, let's get our GPU out. Okay, there we go. Ugh. Now we get to see if this fits. We think it will. We did just change the build all up to make all this work, so. We're gonna see what this does.
Okay, let's see how this does. Now we're just kind of like at the last like number, little, little, little connections are really kind of all we have left. I mean, actually, that has lots of room. It was that's that's actually really good in terms of length. Ooh, that's got a lot more room at the top than I thought it would. Really? Definitely showing that. There we go. That is not leaning, which is crazy. There is so much room at the bottom of this case. So you're gonna have to run cables up like way more than I thought was gonna be. This thing is like way higher than I thought it would be. You can see a lot more cables than I thought. You cannot see the GP, the PSU at all. It feels like they made this really high. When you look at the, hold on. When you look at the build, just how high that, look how high that is. It's like crazy high. I don't remember it being that high with the, um, I used to have these, I don't know if I have them anymore. I think I have some on there. <clears throat> hold on a sec guys, I'm gonna see. I have these right angle, power things. That we bought. It's a 24 pin, 24 pin, 24 pin one. So these right angle. right angle power adapters for plugging in GPUs. They're eight pins things. And that should help a lot in this build. I know we had them. See them in here. It's amazing how hot, how much higher this is than I thought it was going to be. to have it right here. <clears throat> and that's gonna make a big difference in terms of, because if I put this on, sorry, I'm just testing. God, that's so high. I put this on. Uh, 
Oh, you really just need to. Cannot even go on is a question. No, oh, go on, maybe. Yeah, it does go on. Does the fans hit the GPU? Yeah, they're on, they're right on the GPU. Like this, like I can't even, like it's so high. It's so high that the GPU, I don't think we vertically mount the GPU. I think we horizontally mount it. I think that's just gonna look better. You'll still get that purple stripe. I just don't think this is, I think this is way too high. And I think it's gonna, and the other thing too is, I mean, the big thing is, is like, I don't know if it's gonna help the cooling of the CPU. I was gonna give it direct cooling before, but now the see. See what it looks like if I double. I don't even know if I can put this card in there. This may not. This may not work. Yeah, this may not work with the uh, with the bottom fans. Yeah, this may not work with the bottom fans. I feel like though, but it's yeah, because on the. On the NR200P Max, on the NR200P Max, this has come down. You can't do the vertical mount the other way, uh, and it's not so high. But on this one, man, it is really high. Like, really high. And then, if you're gonna use bottom fans, I mean, I could just basically flip, uh, like, if you did the fans and just did in intake in, that might be the best. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, so little change, nothing crazy. We're gonna just, we're gonna remove the bottom fan, rear mount, uh, bottom mount the GPU. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, dude, I gotta make that tight to do that, Lord. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna have to be really tight. Because I don't know if I can. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's just see what it looks like first. A little bit of thinking, thinking here. It's all changing. Okay. It's all changing, all changing. Not for the worst, for the same, for the for the whatever. Top down.
Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's try this. You have like almost no room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what I can do. Let's do this. I know what I'll do. One little change you actually have the option of, because we don't need to worry about it as much, is we'll move this up. Because you can put the uh, you can put an SFX L, and that gives more room for the GPU at the bottom. There we go, now we have more room. Hopefully the, gee, the fans will still fit. Okay, now we can, now we have more room underneath the PSU here, see? To get this higher. Way higher now. Okay, now that we're using a I think now that we're using a normal GPU. Okay. I mean, not that we're, now we're using a normal connection for the GPU. Just grab a couple of these when we get in there, okay. Now you can see why people call SFX builds so challenging. There's just a lot to have to work around to make the build work. I wonder if this will actually look okay. I think we can make this. I, I think adding more cables is not the right solution here.
Okay, let's see what we can do here. I wish I had braided cables. I think the bright thing to do if I was gonna do this again would be to use custom braided cables for this PSU versus the black ones that we have here. Okay, that's in. Now we need to remove this, which we're not using anymore, because I've really screwed it in like 300 million times, but hey, why? Why, why, what's one more time removing it? Son of a. It would've been cool if we could've vertically mounted it, I just don't think. train started guys let's get that finished come on we're just about to start one more thing let me get that done let's get the uh, hype train going one more item the one slayer dropping under bits there it is christy McHale dropping five gifted subs there we go storm fist giving out a gifted sub and we are on our way Juggalo Jimmy dropping 10 gifted subs. We got Cowroll dropping subs. Igor dropping a gifted sub. Okay guys, we're now on our way to the next tier, which is a 5600X and we are 100 away, sorry, 200, uh, we're halfway to a 3050. Let me just hit this in this goal. Our way to a tier one. Now, if we get to tier, remember after that, then we're just hitting where it's like 50 bucks, 50 subs per. There we go. Now, Chris is dropping us in there. We're 151. We're on our way, halfway to a halfway to a 3050. Actually, I'm gonna use this, keep this, and then we're gonna get rid of these little fans and try the single fan. Do this though. Dar Zandier getting it in there. There we are, 152. Come on, guys, we can do it. Yeah, 3050 comes out this week. Then I only have one thing, so I can get rid of that. I can get rid of this whole thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and undo do that here in a second. I'll only need the because I won't I won't need only need one cable. Brocklin resubscribing, Kristen Igor dropping five gifted subs. Guys, we are on our way. We're trucking there now. Can we get it? Can we get to 300?
we're able to simplify this actually by doing what we're doing because we have less fans and this needs to be simpler anyway. Okay, where's our one screw? There it is. One, there we go, Igor Cable Guide. Let's do it, guys, we can do it. Okay, let's do this. Where's my slice better? Do this. Do that now. Do this now. Super Ten gifted from from Super Nasura. Thank you very much, Super. There it is. Ten gifted subs. One seventy-five. Guys, we're, we're, this is it. I mean, like we're over, we're on our, we're past the halfway mark. What's up, Sherry's? How are you? Climbing. Ninja Shinnin. Hype train is done. 43 subs, and we are not, we can, we, we are not done. We are not done with the build yet, but. Okay, so that's cleaner now. This has got to go in with that hub. Oh no, I know what this, this goes with. It goes with this. Don't forget guys, we only have a couple more streams to get in on that 3070 Ti giveaway if you wanna get in on that. That's the sub only giveaway for uh, the month of January. But all the other giveaways you do not need to be sub for or anything like that, we'll be doing all those at the end of the stream. Which we have definitely hit, how are we doing likes on YouTube? That hype train got crushed. Four twenty-six, guys. Let's get finish out those hype. The YouTube likes. Head on over there. That'll unlock our thir our third giveaway for the stream. Right now, our giveaways, three giveaways for today, are the hundred fifty dollars new a gift card. Yep, hundred fifty dollars new a gift card, and a uh, uh, hundred fifty dollars new a gift card, and a uh, two two hundred fifty gig NVMe SSDs. Okay, we are at the very end of this build. We have one more thing to hook up. Try as much as I can to make this look with the fake cable, with the cables that I have. Just wish I had braided cables. That makes such a big difference on this build. In terms of how it looked, but C'est la vie. OK, 
Okay, what do we need now? We need to finish this. Okay, last little bit. I think this will look better now because it'll have like that solid line at the top. There we go. Come on, baby. Give me a three. Okay. Yes, you can buy PCs from me. People do it uh, all the time. Most of the builds are built from me, but uh, are people who buy from me. They buy the commissions. So yes, you can if you were interested. <laughs> it's, it's all good, it's almost done. And it'll be on VOD once the stream is over, which is very soon. You guys have been patient, but we did do, we did redo everything. Like we did choose to redo this build all up. Well. I let you guys vote, and you guys voted that we should do it. Purple and black versus purple, purple and white, which is what we we're going to do originally. There we go. Okay, one more to do. And then, thank you, Benji, for the tier two sub, J Perry 2718. One month, happy eight month anniversary. I will, I will hydrate, I will hydrate here in a sec. Yes, that's a good call. We're at the, it's so funny, cause I get in it, like I'm at, I, I get to this point in every stream and it's like where I solve something and then I feel like we're on the downward trend and then I just forget about everything and get focused. And it's, I mean, it's good cause then the build gets done. And especially with new cases like that I haven't built in a while, I'm like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. But I'll try hydrate right now. Okay, cool. We're at the end, guys. Last connections. Last thing to hook up. And that's going to be problematic, actually. Okay, cool. Let's get this on, and then we're done. this works. Should. Because it simplifies dramatic, dramatically, not dramatically, dramatically, my cookups. There you go. This is gonna go on like that, which means this things need to be in the back, right?
Okay, one is in. One little one is being a pain in my butt. Once they go in, it'd be great. But they don't quite go in all the way. Come on. These need to stay through and that's the problem. It's like I, as, as neat as this, as simple as this thing is, it's actually making it a little bit harder than it should. And that's why, because it's, okay, this has got to go more. Okay, hold on, I got to put this way up. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So I'm gonna put it way up. So I can just see it at eye level. To make sure this. Okay, that one's in. Okay, that one's in. corner ones are just being a pain in the butt. It's just this one little thing that's got to go through. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. All the rest of them are in. Come on. There you go. That one's in. It's all the way in. Got it, okay. Whew, that was a lot of work. Okay, now we are ready to put the top on and finish this build. Got one thing in this little. about to panic. I was like, no, but I did put it on right. So only RGB now. What I had was like four and now I'm down to like one.
Okay. Okay. Okay, that is the top of the build and the bottom of the build are done now. So I have a little bit more cable management to do and then we're done. I think what I would have done differently, the bowl is here in the center. I wonder if that, what am I hitting? I'm hitting something that I don't. Hitting the power cable. Oh, remind you, I need to make sure I turn the power PSU on. Yeah, I'm hitting that PSU cable. But. Not a whole lot I can do about that. There it is. Build is done. I think the only thing I wish I had, and I don't know what happened to them, is I have these, these things that are like right angles that I could just plug this into and then just have it go to the back. I don't know what happened to them though. I think the other thing would be good. Hold on one second. I think there's only one other thing. I don't know if I have anything that's going to work for it, though. The GPU is getting pushed down a little bit. Looking to see if I have anything, it's like small and black, uh, something that could help with. One second, guys, and then we'll finish out the build. I 
kind of cool, but not high enough. Not too high. Quite too low. Such a big difference in terms of how it looks to I mean it's I mean it's not it's not killer crazy right now, but I don't think it I mean it doesn't look too terrible. I'm just trying to see if there's something I can do to make it just a little bit better looking. I don't see it in here anywhere. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's just not anything that I can really do <clears throat> to fix it. And if it's if it's in here, I don't know where they would go, where they would be. I have like a bunch of like little, yeah, yeah. I will. <clears throat> All right, well, let's just get it, let's finish it out. I mean, it's only, it's not, it's a teardown build, right? So it's not like it's crazy critical, but I like the idea of having something that's like, you know, basically done. Trying to see how bad the, and it's actually not bad. And I can use that to basically hide it. Okay. And it still looks really clean. Don't get me wrong. I just was hoping to have it like extra awesome. I think things that, like I said, I would have done a little bit better is using, uh, using, uh, like a 850 over the uh, EVGA over the uh, Cooler Master. Main reason being is that at that point in time, like I don't have to, to go this way. I, I wouldn't have to, uh, no, it definitely goes this way. There we go. Uh, I wouldn't have to uh, as worry about, you about, I could use the, the braided cables. Cause I, you know, as much as nice as, I mean, plastic cables just never look as nice as braided cables, you know? Um, okay, so there's, there's most of it. Now the last thing that we have, which is great, is we have a glass panel. So we'll throw the glass panel in there. Uh, could you fit? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't have... Maybe if they were super, I, I don't know how slim the fans would have to be. I mean, if you used a thinner card, like a Founders Edition, yeah, I think you could. Um, but uh, I don't think, I mean, you'd have to be super thin. No, I guess, I guess it'd be okay. Man, that needs a lot more than... Oh, shoot. Oh. like almost bent in the center, it looks like. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got the little glass side panel to go with it.
Come on, glass eye panel. How do I get you open? Oh. It goes this way. Well, I mean, we can put this on later. But again, well, just, I mean, because again, we'll just leave it like that for later. Okay, but the build is done. So we have a glass side panel for it, which is purple. So it'll be purple and black all the way through. And then the black will actually hide some of the other stuff on it around the edge. Okay. But there is our build. All done, all purple, all clean all the time. Looks really, I mean, again, a couple things, like I said, braided cables will make a difference. It's still gonna light up. We're gonna, we'll make all the lighting, the RGB lighting purple. So it'll be all purple and black when we're done with it. We'll do some coloring stuff and we'll obviously take some photos and stuff of it there at the end. But there is the build. Let's do our, let's take a look at our deals for today and then we'll uh, turn it on and do our giveaways. So yeah, <clears throat> I think it's gonna look great. Okay, so let's see what deals Tom's got. And then of course, also we have our sponsor for today, CDK Deals, which I forgot to actually add their things. We'll have to give them a different one. We won't cover CDK Deals. We'll do them on, uh, we'll do it on Monday because I just plain spaced on them. So we'll do them on Monday. Let's see what he's got from a deal standpoint though. Okay. Oh, we need our two cables here. Okay, let's grab that one. Okay. Let's see what we got today. Okay, so let's go to game capture. Hopefully it shows up there like it's supposed to. Yes, it does. Yay! Okay, so uh, for those of you who don't know, Robitech, eventually this will be robitech.com. Right now, Robitech Deals is the website. Uh, this is like a location for like, if you're looking for our store, if you're looking for, basically the real highlight though, is um, if you're looking for cheap PC components, uh, television, television, tech, you know, video games, etc. Basically we have a guy, Tom, who, you know, many of you know, the, you know, the 700 and, 50 people here right now, um, whose whole job is basically, he, he basically scours the internet to try and find you the cheapest tech. Now, robitechdeals.com doesn't just have that. It also has links to things like our merch store. It has my schedule. Um, and then also, if you're ever gonna like shop at Best Buy, Newegg, or Amazon, just clicking on these links, this stuff doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does go a long way to help me. So anytime that you're shopping, hey, come here first, click on those links, and then you help support us. And then other things like Newegg Shuffle, the other thing too is also checking out at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter where he gets these way more frequently. So just if you're not looking, if you wanna basically get up to the date deal information, you can see he basically retweets and does tweets on this stuff all of the time. The other thing too is that if you're ever looking at a build that you like, like say for instance, you wanna build this purple build as well, you can come over here to stream builds and then all the links are updated for the stream builds as well. So here's the stream build for this that's there. Oh, it's okay. He's changed it a little bit, but that, oh, there's the link to all of the stuff that we built in today. So you can see the prices plus the cheapest place to get them as of the streaming date. Now, the last thing that we also have uh, is that you also have access to our merch, uh, which uh, this is the last day for it that it's currently on sale, but things like, hey, if you want to check out our build mat, uh, that's also here, um, which is, you know, people have continued to ask about as well as uh, sales on our t-shirts and our jackets, etc. But the thing that I like to do is check out, uh, is check out our, um, basically our uh, stream deals for the day. 
So you click on stream deals, and then here it is right here, Robitech deals for today. So let's check out what he's found today for deals. Uh, so Core i7 12700K, um, we just got finished putting this, what did we put this in? We're, I don't remember. We just got finished putting this in a build. Uh, $364.99 on sale uh, with promo code 93H, uh, whatever, read the promo code. But if you want to do that, again, lovely, lovely CPU. Um, and just make sure that you have the AIO for it. Acer Nitro VG227U, this is a 2560 by 1440 2K monitor, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time uh, with free sync IPS on sale for $219.99. Uh, Acer Nitro, I know a lot of people who like these monitors. I have not used one myself, but basically 144 hertz, 1440, one millisecond response time for 200 bucks is a pretty good deal. Uh, the Gigabyte's Aura 17G. So this, I showed this on Amazon just the other day. This is a 300 hertz i7 uh, with an RTX 3080, eight gigs of RAM. The only thing that it, and you can upgrade it, you can put a bigger hard drive in it uh, with a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, for $2,000. That is a heck of a price for a 3000 Hertz, 3080, 1080p monitor. So, I mean, 1080p laptop. So if you're looking for a great 1080p gaming laptop for like uh, uh, for like Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, uh, Halo, et cetera, this is a, cre a screaming deal for one of those. The Antec Dark Cube, uh, probably one of my favorite cases that I've ever built in. It looks like a rocket launcher. If you wanted just a very unique looking build that looks really sick, it's actually got really good airflow because it's got two 280 millimeter fans at the front. It's a great airflow case, so using something like a Noctua um, or uh, something similar like an Antec, but I'd recommend a Noctua like D8, D, uh, DH15 or whatever it was. Can't remember off the top of my head. Um, that's a great, great uh, thing. And the GPU sits at the top. So you get the GPU basically at the top. It looks really good with the Strix card. Uh, $224.99 uh, on uh, Newegg. Uh, looks like you can get a 6600 uh, for $479.99 over at Best Buy. Looks like it's in stock. $479 is a pretty good price. Uh, CLC 360, still one of the least expensive 360 best performing AIOs. No frills, just cooling, $79.99 over on Newegg right now. Uh, Lee and Lee 011D, uh, the white uh, aluminum one is on sale right now for $99.99. Holy crap, that's a great price. If you're looking for an 011, and you wanna do a white Arctic build, there you go. And there it is right there, the NH1, the NZXT H1 Mini Plus. I uh, have one of these on Discord for the price. It's just basically, it's retail. Um, it's been used once, it was only tested. It's got a 36, uh, what, it's got a 30, so let's take a look at it. Uh, it's got a uh, 3060 in it, yeah. Uh, small form factor, if you're looking for Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, all those other things, it's in here uh, at 1080p, at 1440p. Uh, you can see the, the stuff there. Uh, it's got an i7-10700K, an RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte NVMe SSD in the NZXT H1. I have one of these for sale uh, for $14.99, just basically that's it, and we ship it out, it's ready to go. So if you need one, you're looking for one, you want a 3060 system that's really good, uh, we can pick that up from me. Um, and like I said, still get the NZXT warranty and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Asus RG Strix B550-F, uh, this is one of their, uh, this is one of the probably most used uh, ATX motherboards I've used in my build. Uh, $149.99 over, uh, over on Newegg right now. You're gonna start seeing uh, B550 and X570 boards start to drop in price as we get closer to 6000 series. Uh, QNAP 4 bay, uh, this is a direct uh, NAS, this is a direct access storage, not a NAS, uh, but if you're looking for one, $199, uh, which means if you just want a really fast uh, plus, you know, you know, attached storage thing, uh, you can look at that. Uh, white 3600 megahertz, 16 gig, CL16, 80 bucks. Uh, the Z590 Aorus Ultra, so this is if you're gonna do an 11th gen build, uh, $249.99 over on Amazon. Uh, the Samsung T5 portable SSD, this one actually has a, is this the one with the thumbprint? I believe so, if not, I apologize, um, but uh, you know, if you're looking for an external SSD, there you go. Uh, the Elgo Mega R3, the most complete ultimate starter kit. What the heck is that? 62 bucks on Amazon. If you're looking to build whatever that is, uh, looks like it's just like a R3. I don't know what, is this like a, oh, it's, yeah, there you go. Oh, it's a project kit. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 32 gigs, uh, DDR5. Uh, $40 off, so if you're looking for DDR5, uh, here's two by 16, $40 off, making it $319.99. Is this actually in stock? 
Yeah, sure enough, you can buy this right now. This is DDR5 on sale right now for $319, and you can buy it in its in stock. Wow, if you're looking for DDR5, there you go. Uh, Team Tia, this is like really high-end. Uh, bundle includes their headphone and professional studio. Microphone, $199.99. So there you go. Uh, so, oh, yeah, so it doesn't have the, okay, it doesn't have the fingerprint reader. Uh, so DDR5, heck of a deal. You can just freaking buy it. Uh, the uh, H1 Mini Plus, obviously, that Lee & Lee 011 is a great price. Uh, awesome price on that 360 And then I love these two deals as well. So good deals today, Tom. Good job. So that's all the deals for today, guys. Does it, yeah, does it have all the songs from the early mix? I like it. I like that. Uh, I like that joke a lot. So there is our deals for the day. Let's get our uh, well, let's get our PC ready to plug in here. Okay, let's get this all squared up and ready to go. Okay. You guys ready? The purple people eater is finally done. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Once I started playing with stuff and had to change plans a number of times, but it's ready to go now. There we go. And there it is, ready to get installed. Does it seem like the left side is really high? It really does, huh? Fix something real quick. Okay, there we go. That's better. There it is. Now it's not sagging. That looks good. Okay, let's go into mood mode. Start the build. And then we'll do all our giveaways. Mood mode. You guys ready? Put it in mood mode. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Nothing happened. Okay, did I switch the button? I might have switched the power off. That's not a good sign. Did I unplug anything or do I have the power switch in the wrong place? So many things that I could have done wrong here. So confident. Okay, let me just make sure that the power switch is on, on the power supply. Nope, it's not. There it is. That helped. <laughs> it would help if you turn the power switch on on the power supply. There it is. That looks really good. I love the lighting on the, uh, with the, like that's nice right there. And then you've also got uh, the, uh, the RAM and uh, the GPU. So I think it looks really good actually. taking a look at it. The problem is that I'm now worried is that when I put the, the glass on, you're not gonna be able to see this, the light strip at the top. Um, but I mean, it does look, I mean, it's, it's uber clean. RAM looks really good. I like the Lex, I love how solid the Lexar is. And then you've got this, just this white G-Force bar down there, which looks really good too. Super simple, and it does post, by the way. So we do have a post. And there it is right there, it is posted. So it is posted right there. 
And then the other thing too is that we also have on the other side, as per my recommendation, there is the, uh, there is the uh, RGB um, NVMe SSD there. Pretty cool. There it is. Looks really good there. Yeah, it looks great. I like, I like it. I mean, I'm a little worried. Like once we put the the thing on, well, we won't see the thing. I like the RGB at the top, um, especially a little RGB light strip, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty neat. I like the way it looks. Came out really clean. Yeah, I, I got M.2 plus RGB equals M.3. I like that. I like that a lot. There's so much dead space though on the sides. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about like the, you're talking about here and here. Yeah, I think I mean ideally, yeah, I'd like to do like the NR two hundred P Max, where you essentially have the uh, you the, I, the hope was originally to have the GPU basically taking this whole middle zone, um, and so the whole thing is across. But um, it's just it's super high, and it just didn't look good. So this is the NR two hundred P Purple. But I mean, like, and then the other two that's also kind of nice is here at the top, you've got that, you got those LED, these lights at the top too. So those fans at the very top too, which also look really cool. So you get some RGB at the top as well. They've actually got kind of a neat effect here from the top down. Yeah, I like the, like the way that the RGB is here at the top is actually pretty nice. It's got like almost like a vortex on the inside. It almost looks like it's sucking air in, which is actually kind of a nice, like neat effect on the top, which is actually pretty cool. So. Yeah, the top down is actually really sweet. I like the way that looks a lot. You can see the side lighting at the top. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do get some of the side lighting at the top as well. So yeah, looks came out really nice. I like the way it looks. Uh, let's go ahead and, okay, so let's get this over on the side. We'll get our side camera set up on it and then we'll start our giveaways. Let me get it all framed up for you and get some light on it so you guys can see it a little bit better. And Enjoy it up close. Let's get some more, a little bit more light on it. There you go, just a little bit more light. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and hit side and then we'll start our giveaway. First giveaway that's coming up guys is for the Uh, first giveaway that's coming up is for our uh, two, uh, looks like we got, we hit our YouTube goal. So we're gonna give away two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. So here we go. That's gonna be exclamation point community, exclamation point community. we go and then starting that right now two 250 gig nvme ssds two minutes guys Didn't take a lot to put that in there, right? In terms of getting that build. So there's the build though. Yeah, maybe some RGB strips around the edge or something like that might help. Problem with RGB strips is that all of a sudden you're adding, you're actually adding uh, additional cables. It's like, oh, ah, ah, cables for an SFF build are problematic. I do like the way these, the RGB fans look though. We ended up getting, trying out. Those little, that 240 thing was actually pretty neat too, that just like 
Fitz is a 240. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds left. make it all purple maybe if we did it like more like a translucent purple you know what I mean so it's like purple and bluish kind of purple blue black kind of thing guess we could make all the RGB lighting green and make it a true Joker build okay guys congratulations to Yacht over on Twitch and also J Perry 2718 both of you guys are the winners of the 250 gig NVMe SSDs okay the last giveaway for the show today $150 new egg gift card. Exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. Starting that giveaway right now. $150 new egg gift card. Starting that giveaway right now. Like with the with the color, you mean you mean you know what I mean? Like I like the like the blue that we have there. It's almost got like a little bit of hint of a purple on the top. So it actually ends up looking pretty sweet. It does look really nice though. I do agree. Yeah, I like the purple a lot. There's a different angle here for the... Of course they're out of here. There we go. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the temps on are it. Uh, no, you do not get more entries if you type new egg now multiple times. You only, it's only one entry. That's all you gotta do. Okay guys, ending in two seconds. It does look, I love the case. The, the case is just very attractive. And again, I like the lighting at the top too. It's, it's almost like it is like a Twitch build. Congratulations to X, X and Y Quill. X, X, Nyquil, X, X, Nyquil. Congratulations, you are the winner of the uh, 250, uh, sorry, the $150 New A gift card. Congratulations on to all the winners. Okay, guys, well, that is it for the week. I hope you had a great time. Thank you very much for the over 800 people who ended up tuning in today. Well, 800 concurrent. We had thousands and thousands of people tune in. But thank you so much for everybody who tuned in today. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. We are back on Monday with a P500A build. So we're going to be building a PC for a good friend of mine who works over at Microsoft. So we're going to be building. That's going to be a commission build. Uh, if you have questions or you want to pick up that H510 Mini Plus, uh, we uh, just DM me over the Discord. If you're interested in having me build a PC for you, uh, I also do commissions. We have commissions available uh, starting in February. So if you guys want to get a PC built, uh, like Evo Cyber Nation and so many other uh, Creamy Thick, so many other people have gotten PCs built, you reach out to me uh, directly on DM on Twitter, uh, I'm sorry, on, uh, on uh, Discord, and we can get something like that started. So anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great night. I really enjoyed getting to do this. Thank you for uh, the, the thank you for voting, being a part of us choosing the parts for this build. Uh, enjoy the deals. Uh, don't forget to check them out, RobyTechDeals.com. Have a great night, and we will see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.